Wow, wow, wow. Ah, how does it feel when a woman is pregnant? She finds out she's one month pregnant and then she sleeps. The baby disappears inside. And then she wake up, the baby's supposed to be two months. She said, oh, never mind. If a child is supposed to be very big to come out of the stomach, and they say, oh, your three month pregnancy is waste. You see only a blood, but you don't see the baby out of you. Was the baby apart from you, or the baby is just to you, the complete fish? out of the ocean that just step down complete now when a child step down with the arm of the mother okay but the fish is just in a separate place that step down complete its own feet its own head its own of everything maybe look like the face of the mother or the father but they get it from thousand people who also use it yesterday There is something I just found out. You know, the next 15 minutes I'm getting older. I can be posting this video 3 minutes I stop breathing in and out. Or consciousness, the wind gonna allow me to breathe in and out till the 15 minutes is ready. That's how the life goes. But I can still be talking, but my family are dying any minute from now. Listen to why I decided to post this video. I'm gonna sleep two hours later and put a little candle and recognize the dark shadow. When the light goes down, that dark shadow becomes the darkness in the bedroom. You can only see it with a little candle. See how big the shadow becomes. Because the light come up, the shadow get little. The light goes down, the shadow get very big. With a little candle. So this part, like the consciousness now, it take my body to multiply the orgasm last decade. And if the consciousness trusts the many duplicates of me, and when they kill them, the consciousness cannot able to use them to talk to me. So what the consciousness is doing now, using me to talk to me, so I don't have to miss anyone who died. Now, it goes like this. The consciousness say, when the light comes up, you see the shadows behind the people. But when the light goes down, the shadow get big. What happened if you're outside, you're taping somebody. In the daytime, you see them. But in the darkness, you cannot tape them. It doesn't show you no image. You're standing outside. You see a lot of people. You capture all their shadows. Even when they're standing next to each other, you can see the shadow. But when it's dark, when you try to tape, you just tape one big darkness. My guess is, what happens every night if the daylight can separate the shadows? If you wait outside till it gets dark, what happened when people shadows join together and make one big darkness that's the question now you can see the difference between this line what happened when the sun goes down one big darkness are we safe without the light outside to see the shadow If the sunlight separates the shadows, you can see someone's shadow, you step on top of it passing. But if you don't go in your house when it's dark, if everybody stay outside, what happens? Do we really have a darkness or the bodies is really the darkness? If the light come up, everyone have a separate shadow. As the light goes down, every piece of our shadows is coming to make one big dark cloud. If the separate can be joined and in the darkness, 
you cannot differentiate the shadow. You can hear the voices, but you cannot able to see nothing to tape. So, doesn't it say the camera will expose the reality of the darkness? You want to tape somebody, you tape them in the daylight, and now you try to tape all of them in the night. If all you see is one big darkness, doesn't it say all the shadow is the biggest darkness that exists in the world in the first place? Why? The consciousness is telling that in the house, for as long as mankind accepts that night time is just night time, it's like on Sunday, they kill the future every eight days, they really believe it's a day to relax. A Sunday is the oldest day. There is no Monday, there is no Tuesday, there is no Wednesday, there is no Thursday, there is no Friday, there is no Saturday, there is no Sunday. But they walk you out from Monday to Saturday. And when you reach to Sunday, you give up the day, but when you give it up, other people on the other side don't give it up because they don't even have a calendar. It is very important if the daylight can show every shadow separate. But as soon as it's dark, we all run inside the house so that we cannot get the chance to observe that our darkness came between our own footsteps. How do you protect oneself if when the sun shines, you know your shadow, that's your shadow. You can be talking to somebody, you see their shadow. But as you observe the sunlight going down, and you see the shadow joining together. What does that say if it's joined together? Doesn't it say it's the reason of sleepiness? It's like everyone is tangled above the other one. If the skeleton is just a beef, have no mind, but if the shadow is the voice itself, doesn't it say the reason why we fall asleep in the darkness, it's because this big shadow of us is tangled on top of each other, and it makes what is separate is now joined, and that brings sleepy on us. Do we need darkness in the world, or do we need the daylight? We have 12 hours daylight, we don't need the house light. Was the house light for the daytime or are we supposed to keep it on in the night? What is this big shadow? If every shadow is a drop of spam, if every shadow is a drop of baby, but that same shadow already traveled with the body over 1,000 years from East Coast, West Coast, and if every time it is dark, you're standing outside, but if you have street light, you can still see the shadow. What happened to us when we turn the light off? What does the shadow become? If the little shadow with a little candle is very big, no little candle, it takes all over you. Are you yourself when the big darkness comes? My point is, in the light, we see the shadow. A little candle, you see the big fingers of you. And if you turn the candle off, that big shadow takes the whole bedroom. And now you're sleeping. Life? Was life meant to sleep in the darkness or sleep in the daylight? Do we supposed to have office in the daytime or in the nighttime? Don't we supposed to sleep in the daylight? I mean, our God, the wind of darkness, become the by, the flinder, and then make this light to make sure that we can be separate from one another through the shadows that owns the body from the beginning of time. It takes a great grandmother shadow to become the mother shadow, to become the grandchild shadow. So, is it safe to sleep in a dark room? What swell us in the night? If you can see underneath the bright light, it looks so little. But if you put a candle, I do it every night. When you put a candle, you can see yourself very big. But when you put the light on, 
in the big screen, you can't see yourself, it disappears. You are on the floor. But when you put the little candle on the floor, you get the chance to see that your shadow behind you is coming from your great, great self. And that, when you allow it to take over the room, it swallows you. But it comes with negative and positive because it takes two to make one. It takes two to make one. So, do we supposed to work? Should I be offices, school, in a broad daylight? Or are we supposed to sleep underneath the sunlight and we keep the office light on for school and jobs so that life can really be safe? You sleep in the dark room, in the darkness, Why there is a daylight and why do we get house lights? What's the house light? Only to go in the bedroom and turn it off? I think we're living upside down. I think life itself to sleep was supposed to able you lie down in your bed you can still see your shadow when you stay the whole night awake you're gonna fall asleep in the daytime I don't think life we were supposed to fall asleep in the darkness because the darkness is the future I think darkness was supposed to reach the mind everything is quiet everybody's inside then there's this internet option for a teacher to prepare what the children can study in the night they sleep in the daytime. I think life, you can learn in a quietness, but you cannot learn in the broad daylight. With the light in the night, you can learn more and you can rest in the daytime. We are upside down. This big shadow when everybody's shadow join together, there is a problem. You just can't see when people go to football or people go to... You can hear my voice now. It's just one voice. I can manipulate my voice. Hi, you can hear my voice now. It's just one voice. You can hear my voice now. It's just one voice. Or you can hear my voice now. It's just one voice. The meaning of that, if, if thousand people go to a football match, or a TV show, they all clapping together and they join all their voice together. Hey, whoa! If the voice is never there when the shadow join together, what happen if people can shout in the football field? They can shout in a concert. What happen when the voice don't say nothing and all the shadow join together in the darkness? It's just a thinking. Maybe it would take you down to another station of thinking. But no matter what we think this life is, we need light to see. I don't think the house light was there for two hours and then we sleep. If the light is there, I think we were supposed to keep it on to fall asleep. But someone is charging us. And that is expensive to keep it on the whole night. I think maybe... One hundred years later, mankind will really make a party in the daytime, not in the darkness. So that the old grandmothers can also go to watch when people dancing in the daytime. And then when they get tired, they can fall asleep. I think we cheating on the adults of this world. We make them feel old when there's nothing called old. Because the wind don't have an age. The light don't have an age. The body is changing as it's growing. But the wind, we never, the wind, we never get old. And the light, what you need to see, we never get old. But the body is having experience and the body can manipulate itself to look little again. If the body can always be little, do we really have to pretend that 100 year old, that has to be 152 years? Do we have to condemn them that they are old? Or we have to really find a way out to make old people disco. I know they have it some places. But I think in this life, when the babies are growing and they don't allow old people to spend time in old people's city, it makes the people really believe that being old is the end of the world. But people don't know that it is just a body having an experience and allowing the wind to have a fantasy 
really very old till your destination. And then the body fall down and the body fly again to get a fresh baby body. You go back to school copy conscious. So take care.